I'm Peter Block in Denver, Colorado at TCT for On the Scene. Uh, with me is Suzanne Barron, and Suzanne has just presented the Excel Quality of Life study. An interesting study for left main disease. Is it better to have a PCI, or is it better to have coronary bypass surgery? So Suzanne, uh, tell me a little about the study and then the results. Sure. So um, the quality of life sub-study was um, derived from the Excel trial that was presented, the clinical results of which were presented last year by Dr. Stone. And what we saw there was that the clinical outcomes were similar uh, with regards to death, stroke, and myocardial infarction. However, there were higher rates of repeat revascularization. So we performed a prospective sub-study um, alongside the Excel trial to see if there was going to be differences in quality of life that could be related to the timing of these clinical events as well as the differences in the rates of repeat revascularization. So quality of life was assessed at one month, 12 months, and 36 months. And what we found was that while there was an early quality of life benefit to PCI at one month, at 36 months we really didn't see any differences between PCI and cabbage. And this result was consistent across all the subgroups. Um, and so kind of taken together with the three-year clinical results from the Excel trial, this seems to suggest that um, PCI and cabbage are both comparable and good treatment options for uh, patients who are appropriate with left main coronary artery disease. Okay, so Suzanne, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit because that's only appropriate as well. Sure. Tell me about the one area that is all-cause mortality because although it's not doesn't reach significance at P equals 0.05, whatever that means, uh, there is sort of a funny little glitch. It looks like PCI is not quite so good. What's going on there? Sure. So absolutely, there was a, a, a trend towards a higher rates of all-cause mortality with the PCI group at 36 months. Interestingly, the cardiovascular deaths, when we compared those, those were virtually identical between the two groups. Um, and so it does make you wonder, is this just some sort of funny statistical signal that we're seeing? Um, you know, the other thing that's at least a little reassuring is there was a recent meta-analysis that came out looking at left main coronary disease treated with either PCI versus cabbage that included the Excel uh, three-year results. And what we found was is that there was really identical uh, mortality rate, all-cause mortality rates between the groups. So that washed out when you had a bigger trial or more data. Exactly. So it's an interesting thing. It may be because of repeat revascularization, the PCI group, which we know is always present when you have a PCI. For sure, absolutely. And it's something that we, you know, we, we didn't look at and something to look at in the, in the future, perhaps, to see were those patients with the all-cause mortality also related to having strokes or repeat revascularization. Okay, well, Suzanne, uh, for everybody out there, you've now got left main disease, and all of them do as well, and you're going to counsel them about whether they should have surgery or PCI. What's your answer? I think either result is actually a good option for them. Um, you know, I think we, what we know now is, is that you'll get to the same place. You'll make it to that destination of having a good clinical outcome and having good quality of life at three years. It really depends on kind of how you want to get there. Um, and so I think that it really comes down to a shared decision-making process for the patient, um, involving the patient, the physician, and the patient's family and determining what the right thing is for that individual. I love that answer. Thank you.